Uh, as you may or may not have heard, I got wiped on my 2 billion and 1,000 hour Ironman. Damn! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, you heard it correctly. I got wiped. Uh, I tried to log on, but I was already shown a ban screen. Um, I peeled it, but the mods can't really do anything about it because it wasn't wiped. It was unfortunate because I dropped a die and I also dropped a overflex capacitator and also crafted a warden's helmet before that ban. Very, very unfortunate. But honestly, um, at the end, I didn't really, when I was shown the ban screen, I didn't really feel anything, uh, which I think is a good thing. See, what I've learned from that is uh, if you're having constant regret of making a Ironman profile, uh, take a week off and start a normal profile for a week and see how things go. If you like it, then you can just keep going with it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, so what does this mean? We are finally free from being stuck on an Ironman profile and finally be able to try out and actually get endgame with a normal profile because I have never done that before. Uh, so that is what we're going to be doing. Um, so why dungeon non on the title? Uh, my sheer joy in this game is actually doing dungeons. Don't know why, but I feel like dungeons is only but not limited to content that actually requires mechanical skill on like just running around breaking stuff for like hours on hours on end. But something that actually appeals to my person that I really enjoy about, uh, you know, having a skyblock. I have a lot of free time this up and coming holiday season. As a reminder, I hope everybody is enjoying their 2022, end of 2022 year. It has been quite a breeze and smooth, honestly, uh, for me. And I hope it is for you too. And hey, thankfully, my buddy invited me to his co-op, which was a massive boost because I kid you not, the hardest part in skyblock is really early game. Her early game is hard. Nothing else is hard once you get into it, uh, just because it has very limited content. And also the gear that you can be using is very, very limited as I have been trying out now. Our first small goal is to achieve Slayer level six on all mobs except Blaze, because you know how it is. It has like a lot of requirements, so we're not gonna be touching that for uh, for now. It took me a day to achieve uh, level six on uh, revs as well as spiders. Uh, this was because I had helps with friends. But yeah, it, uh, it took me some other time to actually get Sven's because you need gear for Sven's actually or else you will like no no shot die on tier fours uh as well as enderman but i had somebody carry me through enderman from one to six very very if you guys get level six on all all and you grind like a little bit of beast tree and a little bit more mobs you will get combat level 24 which i have recently achieved which was amazing because i kid you not it was like yes 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 i'm carried all right in enderman all right on slayers all right all right you can stop typing on the comments <laughs> uh the main armor that i used for this was end armor with fierce reforge uh and a void sword uh that was my starting armor gear because honestly if you guys did not know uh the end ireland is the best place to start off uh, if you guys need combat and stuff like that it's no more the uh mines because it's very limited content there now uh compared to the end island but yeah uh and i then i was upgraded to a spicy aspect of the dragon which helped me do a little bit more damage i during that time when i was doing revs and spiders i had around 250 magic find and by the end enderman or Sven's, right by the end of getting level six endermans and all actually getting 24 combat i was able to get 423 magic power which was really really nice uh I, yeah i set everything to warrior and then i upgraded to blood because it's really really cheap so if you guys can upgrade to blood do it asap on this in iron man but yeah i was doing about like eight to ten thousand damage around there uh when i was using the void sword uh and then and it started getting higher and higher and higher until i was able to complete uh my dungeon my first few floor dungeons to unlock shadow assassin and uh shadow fury the main game uh dungeon armor that i will be using is honestly using uh three-fourth assassins uh as well as having a uh, golden head as my uh helmet and later on uh, till i can get f7 comps right uh this is what i'll be using till i can get that and hopefully by the end of doing like a couple floor sevens i will upgrade to a terminator uh terminator uh yeah yeah we're going to be an archer at heart because going for a term rather than a uh hyperion is going to be way more cheaper and more efficient really if you're doing dungeons a lot all right but i would need the following i need at least 600 magic power right uh for floor sevens a uh, skill average of 30 preferably that's what i really want but i'm probably going to be aiming for 20. uh by the time you're seeing this video i'm currently at 15. skill average is actually really hard uh just letting you guys know you don't need a high skill average this is just 
something that I want one because of like the small tiny stats that it gives you. You don't even have to bother for skill average unless uh, for being a dungeon on, of course, all right, because you're just gonna be mainly being in dungeons and stuff like that. And da 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 da. da. But yeah, only get enough skills to uh, unlock a lot of content, such as combat, right? Uh, I need uh, enchanting level 45 so I can start using a lot of the um, enchantments such as Overload, uh, Soul Eater, Legion. That is going to be very, very important is to get my enchanting level up, which is uh, fairly easy, honestly, if I uh, pay to win and use my bits uh, and a couple of much money to use Titanics on it. So we need uh, enchanting level 45 ASAP. Catacombs level 24 uh, so I can unlock uh, floor 7 comps because that, that's going to be my main issue, right? On the bright side is that I can finally be able to do dungeons and actually make profit, you know, instead of skipping every chest like uh, Iron Man, right? Uh, which will help me because, you know, dungeons is really good. It also, it's really good money making method um, on the side, right? You can get Catacomb XP as well as, you know, uh, like for example, dropping recoms, you know, uh, stuff like that. Uh, these are my current stats. Uh, of course, skill average 15. Thing is, decently, uh, I, I'm not really going to be uh, doing a lot of skills really that much, just mainly dungeons and uh, combat levels. Uh, my collection is fully maxed, which is really, really nice from my co op, right? My accessories, I'm missing a quite a few accessories, but I would also start uh, recalling a lot of my epic accessories and then tuning them for attack speed because that's what like archers really need. We do these this is my current uh armor set that i'll be using which is the shadow assassin that i talked about earlier uh which is decent i still need to put fumings and potato books on my pants but i think it's it's decently okay for now right we do have crimson armor now that we can finally be able to use uh instead of the shadow assassin which is really really nice they are almost fully starred out which is beautiful uh we'll be using uh the helmet all the time right so that's going to be very, very nice. But honestly, the weapons that I am currently using is uh, Fabled Shadow Fury with one for all enchantments. I think I kind of way, way over uh, overbought this really because I thought one for all is going to really help it. But I think tier six enchantments are actually kind of better uh, maybe. But honestly, I'm just going to stick for one for all just for now until I really do need the, the siphon from it. Um, the scavenging from it and uh, stuff whatnot like that and i do also bought another juju boat which was really really nice the only thing i cannot use is soul eater and overload which is the main enchantments for it all right uh, i do need to level up that's why i'm talking about when i said i need to level up my enchanting level those are my main uh, weapons at the moment uh accessories i did or um accessory slots right um i haven't really got into it but that is my current uh set and i hope to see you guys on my next episode when I update you guys all on what I'm going to do. Um, one thing that I want to thank you guys for all the constant support, even though when I was at MIA, right? Thank you so much because I had vacation going on. That's why I wasn't active for those people who do not know. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So many glockies. I got a drum. He got the walter stick. We'll set it off for this bitch. Thinking it's sweet. Smack a zell.